millions watch Jack Vale's hilarious pranks on YouTube, and he's got his own reality series right here on HL, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, Jack Vale Offline. The show reveals how pranking became his family business. So obviously we had to bring him in because today is Jack's day, and I can't imagine, Jack, as you join us now, what April Fool's Day looks like at your home. How are you celebrating? You got anything up your sleeve? No. Here, here's the thing, Ali. It's like every day is April Fool's Day, every single day of the year. So there's nothing really special about today. Maybe it's a ruse. I actually, I, I'm, I'm actually a little confused because I thought for sure like you weren't going to be there or you were going to have like be dressed like a woman or something was going to be a little off. And it's just... I, I'm, a little, I'm more professional than that, okay? I'm trying to be <laughs> professional for you guys. <laughs> Well, listen, taking it back to prior to when this was such a big deal, I know that you've always been kind of a jokester. Yeah. So what are some of your more memorable things that either you have done to the family or the family have done to you dating all the way back? We're always doing stuff, whether it's kind of the, the same stuff that you guys were talking about, the classics, you know. I like the, the water over the door and, the, and jumping out from around corners and, and, you know, scaring people. We scare the kids, too, by the way. Jasmine and Jackson are four and six, and... It's fun to get them once in a while, too. Let's see how easy it would be. And, and, and Jack, Jack, I know that you have an app that you're going to be using later today. A new app coming out, huh? So excited about this, <laughs> guys. I discovered this thing yesterday. It's called Dude Your Car. You literally take a picture of someone's car in the parking lot, and then you watch them go into the store, for example, and then you screw around with the picture of their car. You make it dents and, and, and dings and police cars and all this stuff around their car, and then you run in and find this, dude, is this, is this your car? And they know they just parked there, so they're like, oh, and they run out. Hysterical. I haven't used it yet, but I can't wait. That oh, sounds man. awesome. I want to try that. I see. If I would have yeah. known about that That's earlier, great. Jack, I wouldn't have had to spend 45 minutes TPing yeah, Yasmin's he just, car in the parking lot. He just TPed <laughs> my car in the parking lot. I could have just done, see, the wonder of technology. <laughs> Listen, yeah. we actually have one of your most popular pranks on YouTube, Jack. It has, uh, I guess, 3.7 million views. Let's take a look at it. I wanted to see how easy it would be to get personal information from complete strangers. And while I'm at it, of course, freak them out a little bit. Keep in mind, when you watch this video, I got all of this information just by searching their personal social media posts. And I got it by searching for the closest Twitter, Instagram, and other social media posts to my current location. Let's go. Sorry to bother you. Are you, is your name Jessica? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Jack. Hi. Hi, nice to meet Hi. you. How are you? Good. How do you know that's my name? <laughs> Ashley. Whenever it comes to me and I know who it is, okay. I know it's weird. But I, I have to shout it out to see if I'm right, and in that case, I was right, so. What the f right now? Wait a minute. Are you Stephanie? Uh, how do you know me? How you doing? I'm Jack. Did you just make that up and you just said that? No, Al Elena, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I was just going to say happy birthday. <laughs> Jack, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. I love that. We did. We did a version of that prank on offline on uh, on the show, and uh, it's really fun. It's hard to stalk. It's a lot harder to stalk people than I thought it would be. So, props to the stalkers, I guess. I don't know. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it, it's time consuming. It's really time consuming. So you gotta like really find people. Get yeah. to know their likes and dislikes and stuff, and then yeah. confront them on it, and then they're blown away. Well, Jack, I'm definitely going to do my part to uh, continue oh, on as your minion here in Atlanta at the Bureau. I'm Thanks nervous. so much for joining us today. We appreciate it, Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Happy April Fool's. Thanks, Fools. guys.